horn section is sort of a very organic element of, of a live show or you know, a studio project. I like that sound, it's authentic, it's fun, and it's powerful. Oh gosh, horns bring it to life. Yeah, they bring it to life, it makes you go, wow. <laughs> I used to drive a beat up Chevy and I broke down raggedy foot, played a million one night gig. That lonesome road, but now I'm cruising. No, I ain't looking back. See, I still got the blues, but I've got them in my fleet good Cadillac. We're doing uh, Cadillac Blues, which was written by my father, Bob Kodish. Bob just sat down one, one day and, and wrote that out, and he said, Man, that's a great title song there, man. So uh, we played around with it for a while, and it just came together, just like uh, it was meant for me. No, I ain't looking back. You see, I still got the blues, but I've got them in my pretty Cadillac. You know, it, it's that type of sound. It makes people want to hear it. When you hear it once, you want to hear it again and again and again, because it brings so much power to the music. We started the Motor City Horns in 2000. We've probably already been on, on about six or seven albums. Much of it is based in a, in a blues type context. Along with touring with Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band this past year, we've also been doing uh, some recording projects with, with some regional and local bands. It's very exciting. Let the good times roll, yes I'm cruising. No, I ain't looking back. I still got the blue, but I've got them in my pretty Cadillac. One of my CDs with uh, the horns, I had three horns when I recorded the day my life to the blues in, in Holland. And um, it worked out well then, and I missed that sound. And when I heard the Motor City horns, I said, that's the sound I want again. We also have a great vocalist, Thorn out of Davis, on uh, When I'm Kissing My Love. Which is kind of like an R&B, bluesy kind of feel as well. I've been performing that song for over 10 years now. This uh, particular version is a, is a different style, not, uh, not a straight uh, you know, take off of the cover. I close my eyes and see a pretty city with a million flower beans. When the guys put the horns to it, I, I performed it with them for the first time at the 2007 Jazz Festival. It's, it's like fame. They're a great bunch of guys and great musicians. I've worked with uh, a couple of them outside of the, the collaboration that they put together. One of the strengths of the Motor City Horns is our diversity and versatility. They bring so much more. So very organic thing, put it all together, make it happen.
We're not afraid to jam. We're not afraid to let people jam with us. We just get together, we, we create. I'm proud to say I'm from Detroit. I don't want to say I'm from the outskirts. I'm from around, I'm from Michigan. No, I'm from Detroit. He's so strong. Last song we'll be doing is Superman Lover. Chris Kodish on vocals, the horns, and a little bit of background vocals by Skeeto Valdez behind the drums there too. Superman Lover? Superman Lover. I got X-ray vision, yeah. You know that I can see through steel too. But I know there's something wrong with me, baby. You begin to realize as a working musician that you need to have a lot of different things under your belt. You know, performing small groups, large groups, variety of ensembles. Um, I can pretty much handle any, any scenario that, that comes up in, in the studio or on the stage. You might see me flying by, why don't you just look, look, and if you do, come on and look, look, well I'm flying straight to you, and I call me the Superman lover, yeah, you know they call me the Superman lover, yeah. Everyone's got great chops, can read, and you know, great stage presence, great phrasing, great uh, soloing ability, so it's... It's easy. We have arranging capabilities, especially with Keith Kaminsky and Mark Byerly. We're able to handle any arranging situation. Typically, we'll listen to the tracks, try to pick up on different ideas if there's not something already pre-arranged, and then organically let it grow from there. As the Brothers Groove, we tend to think, uh, we think of a group sound, a cohesive sound, and I think that's one of our strong points, and I think that's also a strong point with the Motor City Horns. That's why we like working with them, because they, they're thinking about the group sound. And it felt right every time I got together with these guys. This is Motown and you're brought up listening to the Four Tops, Temptations, and so on. And a lot of the first horn section gigs that we all did uh, involved you know, doing shows with the Four Tops, the Temptations, um, and other Motown acts. I think being a Detroit musician, I, I take pride in that fact, and I think I'm a musical product of my environment. You better look, look, up in the sky, come on, look, look. You might see me flying by, why don't you just look, look, and if you do, come on and look, look, well I'm flying straight to you and they call me the Superman lover, yeah, you know they call me the Superman lover, yeah, the sun is wrong. I mean there's nothing better than listening to an old Temptations record with all the horns and strings. You know, you go anywhere in the world and Detroit is a respected jazz city. Is it a bird? Or is it a plane? 